Ladies and gentlemen, our third bout of the evening is brought to you by the Tint Factory and scheduled for three rounds in the Chosen Few Featherweight Division. Introducing first, the man fighting out of the Coliseum Bar Red Corner. He stands in at five foot seven inches tall, weighing in at 141 ready pounds. He hails from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, representing Red Schaefer, mixed martial arts, making his cage debut, Hector Velez. His opponent, this man standing across the cage and fighting out of the Harley Davidson of Madison Blue Corner. He weighed in at 144 pounds and stands in at five foot eight inches tall. He represents fearless mixed martial arts from Bloomingdale, Illinois, Matt Edcock. And just about set for fight number three here tonight, Adcock and Velez. As the ref goes over the final instructions right now, both guys fighting in the featherweight division, 145 pounds. And we're just about set to get it on, and here we go. Fight number three, back to the action here at the Monona Terrace. And Chris, out of the fighters that we have seen so far here tonight, these two seem to be in the best shape. Yeah, you're going to see a skill level step up here is what we like to call it. Both amateurs, both debuts, but both guys train at gyms with a little more experience. As far as Hector Velez, his coach has some of the most experience in Wisconsin. Red Schaefer, mixed martial arts, a grizzled UFC veteran, a grizzled gladiator veteran, a grizzled Madtown throwdown veteran. So he's able to tell a fighter like Hector Velez what's going to happen in the cage, how it's going to happen in coaching through and then a guy like Matt Adcock with Fearless MMA, one of the oldest gyms in Wisconsin, you can tell built, or I'm sorry, in Illinois, built really well, wrestler style body, keeps his head low as he throws punches. Both these guys have done a lot of work in the gym to make their debut here. And finally, we have actually a hookup here and some grappling going on after a lot of action on their feet. A good spinning back kick earlier from Adcock as we saw the guys use a flurry of both kicks and punches. And right now trying to gain leverage is Adcock. And a takedown there by Velez. But now Velez is down. Adcock trying to throw punches. A good job by Velez to kick him off. That was a surprise to me that Adcock stood him up. Yeah, I would figured he would have at least jumped into guard or half guard to keep throwing bombs because it looks like Velez was a little panicked on his back there, but hey, you could tell Edcock's comfortable on his feet. They both seem actually pretty comfortable on their feet right now. Good balance from the fighters and doing some work as they both make their cage debuts right now. And again, like I said, we saw a, a mix. It's not just all hands. We're seeing some kicks coming in. And now a good flurry here as Adcock looking to size up Velez right now as he seems to be the aggressor cutting off the cage on Velez, backing him up. Good right. And now once again, he goes into the hold as he looks to appear to try to be taking him down and Velez fighting it off and finally driving him into the ground is Zadcock. And into half guard right now, good position. Velez looks a little bit lost right now on his back. Adcock's got his forearm on Velez's chin right now to the eyes. That right there, believe it or not, hurts enough. Just that pressure right on that orbital bone. Absolutely, now Adcock doing a good job of being able to get some blows in and Velez fights him off again, using his legs both times to be able to break the hold. Now, as you see their stance different here, one thing I want you to watch, Velez is left hand. He keeps it really low, and Adcod likes to throw the overhand right. He's almost connected with it twice, so be very aware of that overhand or that straight right because it's going to connect because look at Velez's chin. He keeps it up too high. You will see that in boxers a lot too, and that's what we got going on right now. And there's that right, and you called it, Chris, almost on cue. And Edcock tries for it again and now has the takedown and brings down Velez as the round is over. We'll be back with round number two in the action here from the Nona Terrace as you're watching Chosen Few on Wisconsin's 57 Sports.
And we take a look at the replay, almost on to you called that right hand coming in, and that's what Adcock has been using to catch the chin of Velez, and he seems to try to follow that up by attempted takedowns of Velez a couple of times. He's been successful just like he was right there. Yeah, and that was a little bit earlier before that right hand landed, but still an excellent takedown. Here's, here we're gonna have the and right hand And there's that landed. right, yeah, connecting onto the chin of Velez. And I would think in round number one, Adcock, the winner of that one, Chris? Easily controlled the round, landed the most shots, got two takedowns. Really the only offense I saw other than some good strikes from Velez was he turned one time his hips uh, when they were in half guard over here looking for an arm bar, never really sunk anything. But uh, Adcock's definitely up 10-9 on my scorecard. So this fight makes it to the second round, unlike our second fight, which lasted all of 25 seconds. But then, of course, we had the intermission that was unexpected as Adcock, again, using that right hand, as I'm sure his corner saw the same thing you did, as now he is trying to attempt to get the upper position here, and it looks like he does as he's getting side control. So what you saw there and why Velez ended up in this position, if he tried to reach around and do a judo style throw like an Epon, he tried to grab uh, Matt's arm and twist him and throw him and it didn't work and now he's in a horrible position. And now, yeah, in some trouble here is a good right from Adcock, bringing the left in as well. There's another right to the ear of Velez and Velez just trying to crawl and protect himself at this point as a good job up on top on control here from Adcock. Looks like he's trying to roll Velez over here. As much punishment as Velez was taking, he did a good job there to get Adcock off, and but now, now he's, he's flat in, big in his trouble. stomach. Yeah. You don't want to be in this position at all as look at the rights and lefts come in from Adcock, pounding ground into the side of the head, and that's going to do it. And what a fight and debut by Matt Adcock. He was in control from the opening bell. And that's right, exactly from the opening bell. Never scared of anything Velez had going. And once he found that Velez's chin was up in the air and he could land that right, he had Velez on his heels, was able to take him down easy, and you saw it. His top control is excellent for a debut fighter. Impressive debut from Adcock. He brought a bunch of fans with him as well. You could see why they are excited. He came in in shape and with a good skill set, didn't he? And I, and I like, even though he's from Illinois, I'm hoping we're going to see him again because this guy, and, and you saw it, the way he fought, the way he stood, the way he threw punches, the way he took him down, this guy is going to be good, so I can't wait to see him again. We'll be back with Chris in the ring giving us the final decision. You're watching The Chosen Few on Wisconsin's 57 sports. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of this bout comes at 1 minute 12 seconds of round number two for your winner by TKO, Matt Edcock. I want a debut for Adcock. We'll be back as our fourth fight of the night is going to feature Marco Gonzalez from the Chosen Few. That is next here in Wisconsin's 57 Sports.